Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Metroid. This is going to be Cliffhanger and it is the easy version of Cliffhanger because the hard version is torture. This one is slightly less torture so this one is bearable and it actually is a really good hack. This was actually my first hack and it taught me how to wall jump with the keyboard so if you're playing on a keyboard and struggling with wall jumping or mock boying or any of that, this is a good hack to start out and figure that out. Well, actually, not. it isn't a good hack to start out because it is really difficult. But that's beside the point. It's good to learn those techniques. And that pit down there is actually where I learned my wall jumping. But anyway, as you start out, things will be looking very similar to the original Super Metroid, which isn't that unsurprising. If, maybe, never mind. I don't know if I said that right or not. But you get the point. So things will be looking very similar. Very similar. And if you didn't guess, the morph ball is to the left of this elevator although in a slightly different position. This hack was made by Digital Mantra, who has one other hack released, and that is Eris. This hack is his first... well, the easy version is the second, but really Cliffhanger's his first hack. And it's a lot more difficult than Aerith, I think. Either version is. It's a lot larger, but it still has his very interesting tile work and statues and all that stuff. And this here is a death pit. If you fall, you're dead, so don't fall. You'll have to per perform some wall jumps. Just wait for the acid to go down. Give yourself some more room, and you're good. And in here is your first missile, which is also just like the original Super Metroid. So this is actually going, because of the size of this hack, this is actually going to be a very long and large playthrough. Not quite as big as some, some like Super Z remission, obviously. Which was just plain. Oh. Okay, that was. That's close. Yeah, it's not as big as Super Z remission, which is just plain huge, but this is going to be a, a long hack. Long playthrough. So my videos will probably be a little bit longer than normal for this. And I should say right now that I do know the hack, but I'm not really, really familiar with it. I know air is much better, I know searching for items much better. Some things like that, so I may get lost sometimes. Just warning you now. But anyway, the beginning's pretty similar. Now the planet's away, there's enemies and all that. You collected morph bomb or you're headed to warp bombs now. Collected morph missiles. And the energy tank, and make sure to grab the energy tank. Because there's two or three or four heat runs in this hack. Because you get you get your suits late in this hack, so you and for the first heat run, you wanna get I think there's only two energy tanks available, and you really, really want to get both of them. Now, the first one was kind of obvious, but the second one is pretty well hidden, so... I'll definitely be showing you where that is, and I really need to get up there. And I am failing miserably. Oh, that was much better. 
Okay, now that that ordeal is over. God, more sp Oh, that was... brilliant. Don't burn into it. Okay, so... Obviously, you're not beating this hack if you can't wall jump. It is a requirement. station in each area, you would be able to see the story. So there's one of these in each area, and you've... Um, the one in the wreck ship, I believe, or whatever the wreck ship's called now. The one in there, I think, you can only get the first time go through the wreck ship. There's actually quite a few things in that area that you can only get at certain times, but we'll get into that later when we get there, which might be a little bit. Another thing to mention is the ship is your only save point. And for a hack this size with you know, that many heat runs, that's not easy. This, it is a little bit of an issue. But that's really... That was... I've never had that happen before. Saving that was interesting. But yeah, the save stations are important. So if you're making a hack, make sure to learn how they work and how to use them, how to set, set them up. Especially if you're making a hack this size, and that has a good amount of difficulty to it. Because people prefer playing on um, quote-unquote console conditions instead of having to rely on save states. So if they have a save nearby at a tough section, and they die, well, they've got the save right there. So they're more likely not to be so frustrated with that. And here's the bomb trezo, and there's spikes in the middle of the floor. But this really is not changed at all, it's not that difficult. It's just the same old Teresa fight. Of course, being an older hack, a lot of the um, hex edits we know now didn't know then, so there's not. I don't think there's anything changed, actually. I think this is all vanilla everything, except for the layout. And right there's the scrolling sky air, with clever use of the background tiles to cover it up. Of course, through the doors. Impossible to cover up, but... Otherwise, it works nicely. This is a, one of the interesting things in this hack, is he has rooms that go behind other rooms, but he has both paths visible. So, uh, you'll see it later. Be easier to understand once you actually see it in action. And this stupid monkey. Refuse to die to this thing. Okay, on through. What is. Oh, power bomb. This elevator is not one you will be coming back up for a while.
has that. Oh, and there's another Cyclops face or something. Because at the bottom of it, it is actually blocked off by super missile blocks. It does a lot of. We're a couple interesting things anyway with elevators. I mean, there's this one with the super missile blocks. There's another one that we'll come across a little later on that does something else pretty interesting. And right away, you want to head over this way. Make sure you head back here because. I guess. Back underneath this statue. Every energy tank you can. Jeez, just get up there. Thank you. So I guess the charge beam that makes there actually is a perma stuck if you don't have well you don't need charge beam to avoid it, but charge beam prevents it altogether. There's a spot before crate. If you run out of missiles, you can't do anything. So, unless you have charge beam. That's, that's another super missile block up there, so we'll get to that later. A lot of little secret places in this hack, which I really like. This hack took... It was just confusing to me for a very, very long time. It's like, where in the world am I going? What in the world am I doing? What? Like, I'm just lost. And I guess after I got to a certain point, I finally started making some sense of where to go. It took me forever to get to a certain point. And then once I got to that point, it took a very short time for me to beat it. Even though I was only maybe a halfway or two thirds through the hack. That's something you kind of you kind of get a feel from different people with how they make their hacks and how they do things. You kind of start feeling out how they're doing it as you play through. Which is pretty interesting how you can do that pick up on the little nuances and how they do stuff. Oh, and be careful. Those grabber claws will cause pain. Up here is your second energy tank. And you really, really, really need this. In the first room. But be careful in this room because it is guarded by a death pit. Because there's spikes down there. Unless you're single wall, underwater wall jumping, you're not getting out. So be careful. But you do need this energy tank. And again, this is all very, very similar to the original layout. I need speed boost to get back there. Get in there. Thank you. Back through there is very similar to the original Super Metroid, so... Now, this place, Norfair, or... I forget what it's called. I'll have to try and remember these names for these areas. Once I've... Yeah, I'll, I'll try and work on that. But hidden over here is your pathway through. And through the door is your first heat run. So, make a safe state if you want, as you may need it. And I am not going to succeed in that. Give my energy back. Oh. 
Oh, no, no. Okay, that noise is a bit weird, but... It's really just the, um, bomb trees of statue crumbling, because that's actually a PLM that's separate from the enemy. So you can plug that in some places like this and fail at getting into your morph tunnel and almost die. Let's not do that. Okay, now. Much better. So yeah, this is the PLM. It just crumbles. Don't worry about this, Cargo. This room, I believe, is heated in the original version, but in the easy version it's not, so take advantage of it. And there's the refill bugs here, anyway. Okay. You may want to make another safe state in that room. Although this is much easier in the easy version. In the original, I think you have to perform a mock ball, and then a speed ball on the way back. Otherwise, you end up dying. Here's your speed booster, now you just have to make your way back. And don't hit the energy refill on your way out. And you should be good through here. And I don't think making your way back is difficult. But you still want to... Make sure you're full, obviously. Okay. Okay. That noise is really annoying. And then we survive that still. Okay, now we can get back to Crate. We are done with this place for now will be for a little bit. So back up the long elevator. So we can't actually get up there until we have super missiles. And we can't get up there yet either, so. Oh my goodness, a stupid chair. At least the birds haven't made themselves known. Okay, now we can get back here. Spark up through there. And again, right here, in this area is very similar to the original Super Metroid. It's just changed slightly. This is by no means a half act, though. This is. It does get very, very, very different. Oh. Okay, now, this is the room I was thinking of, because I don't remember if those are hurt by bombs or not, and this hack. They may not be, which is where the permastuck comes in if you don't have charge, and you run out of missiles before destroying them. And here... Get up here to emit or morph get around it and only lay one bomb up here, otherwise it'll close the gate again. Now you can get up there. Thank you. No. No. Bug. Anyway, actually I think right through here will be a good place to leave it off, so hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully 
we will see you for the next episode, where we will go through the door and hopefully defeat Crane. So we'll see you then.